Sherry from Balloon Utopia, Market with Balloons, and DIY Balloon Art. Today I'm going to show you how to make a leprechaun fascinator. This one is perfect either for St. Patrick's Day or just because you're feeling a little bit green. So we're going to start with our basic uh, fascinator base, which I've already taught you, right? Little pinch twist there, little five petal flower. And we have here a six inch heart. So we are actually going to under inflate this. So if I inflate it like that, it's fully inflated and you can see very much it looks like a heart. But I don't want it that defined. So I'm going to just kind of squish it down a little bit so it just kind of has this kind of like triangle -ish shape, which I can't quite get with a round balloon, okay? So that's what I want is this kind of triangle shape. And then I'm going to tie it off. And now I'm going to take it and tie it into my little flower by holding my nozzle and just wrapping it around, just like that. Okay, and now at this point, we're gonna squeak a lot. Okay, and so I've already prepared my headband. Fascinator means it's on a headband. And I've already tied a balloon to it. And so as always, hey, I lost my pitch twist. Well, that's okay. I'm just going to tie this in. And because I lost my pinch twist, I'm going to want to leave a little bit of slack here so that it doesn't bring the headband right up into here. Otherwise, it won't sit nicely on somebody's head. So we're just going to kind of gently bring it in, leaving just a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of slack. You see, we use our third hand here a lot. <laughs> All right, just like that and like that. So now you see, it's not, it's not going up into the flower. So that's the important thing. Okay, and now we're going to take our yellow 160, and all we're gonna do is just wrap it around and tie it together. So you see, I'm gonna use the nozzle here, and I'm just gonna tie it just like that. Remember to put the stress on the part of the balloon that you don't want, that you're gonna be cutting off, and just like so. And then once it's tied, then you can cut it off and you don't need the rest of this. We'll save this to use for a fascinator for something else. And then you just kind of want to straighten it out. And there you go, isn't that adorable? So let's see, where is my leprechaun model? Here we go, the lovely Sarah. And top of the morning, oh, and of course, you know, everything has a backside, that's the back. Top of the morning to you. There we go. Oh, let's, let's not put it right on your ears. There. And isn't that adorable? Leprechaun Fascinator. She makes a great leprechaun, doesn't she? Anyways, if you like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, drop me a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you'd like me to make next time. Just let's have a conversation. I really want to know about you. Anyways, until the next video, I'll be seeing you.